ओम श्री साईराम हाय माय डियर फ्रेंड्स इट इज सेड टुडेज न्यूज़पेपर इज टुमॉरोस वेस्ट पेपर नॉट एनी मोर इफ यू आर अ टीचर सो हियर इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी गिविंग यू टिप्स टू मेक दिस न्यूज़पेपर इनटू एन इफेक्टिव टूल व्हेन यू हैंडल क्लासेस maybe primary or high school and if you're curious to know how this can be an effective tool continue watching the video without giving it a skip challenging thing for every teacher is to draw the attention of the child and once that is done to sustain the attention so one real good way to uh, involve all children make them uh, interested in the topic that you are teaching is to do some activities but the moment we say that we have to do an activity it becomes so strenuous for the teacher so they think oh no i have to keep so many things ready and i have to make a plan and i have to have all this and no child should be shouting and there should be no scoldings for me and nothing should go wrong cool of all that so here i'm going to give you one very easy thing which you can use whatever may be the subject that you are handling and it will be a very effective tool to make your class interesting and to make your kids learn the important components of your subject so in this video i'll be giving you uh, tips as to how you can use the newspaper and do some activities and subject wise i'll be giving you one one idea so you can incorporate what will work for you or you can take this as a guidelines and go ahead and create your own activities so let's get started it is a grammar that forms the foundation of any language isn't it my friends so when you are teaching english let us imagine you are an english teacher so you could just take a paper from your house or ask every kid to bring a paper you could show that particular uh, page number 1 probably you could say and uh, you could uh, ask any part of the grammar no so let us imagine that you are teaching verbs you are concentrating on verbs so you can just make a child say what is a verb or you yourself can say and then make it as a group activity and ask children to circle or highlight all the verbs that are there in that particular page and you can ask them to come as groups and present uh, what are all the verbs that they found in that particular page if you want to make it interesting you could allocate one one page for one one group you could make it as a individual activity also so this will actually encourage the child to read the paper and also identify in those sentences what is it that he has already learned and apply that knowledge so this will be very interesting for the child very easy for you and at the same time he is able to correlate what he has read to that scenario which he is presenting most of us are conversant with our mother tongue and hence i think uh, i should be giving you tips to enhance the quality of knowledge that you have so let us imagine uh, that a teacher asks her students to get tamil paper because obviously i am from tamil nadu i am giving you this uh, let us get a tamil newspaper to the class and she will uh give a group or individually one particular sentence so what is the task or activity that you can do you have to ask the child to use any one of those words in that particular sentence and make a sentence of their own if they are of a higher class you could ask them to write a two line poem on that so these are very interesting ideas so the child knows that he can use this word in multiple ways and at the same time when it comes to higher class they even go to uh, write a poem or they can write some quotation or slogan based on that so these activities will enhance the knowledge that they have and they know that they can put a word to multiple uses now uh, how can you put a newspaper to use when you have to deal with numbers i have an idea even for this uh, you could uh, ask children to cut out different shapes from newspapers and make um, tangrams so this is one activity that will be really interesting for the primary kids when they make different shapes for example the teacher just says make a circle and the entire group sits and makes a circle and you could also be specific about the diameter or radius and then you can even go and say make a equilateral triangle so in this process the children are actually creating those objects they have to know the properties of that triangle to make it as an equilateral triangle and then you can just give them instructions make a tangram using any three or any four of the shapes that you have created and when the kids come to display the tangrams that they have made they can share the experience how it was uh, to listen to the instructions and do it and this will be a really interesting activity that will pep up your maths class 
the best part of learning science is it is applicable in our everyday lives isn't it so how do we do use the newspaper to make science more day-to-day uh, -day oriented or practical here is my tip so the teacher obviously has to have a knowledge of what all information is there in that particular newspaper okay so she will give options it will be like gravity or it can be osmosis or it can be a uh, dispersion of light so these are the topics that the teacher will write on the board just these keywords okay and she can set the timer and she can ask the students to find out where in the newspaper an application or a indirect or direct reference for this particular concept is there the children will just take it up go through the entire newspaper read all the columns and try to apply the knowledge that they have gained in science and come up uh, with the final results so my dear friends this will be a very useful tip for you because all knowledge that we gain is for us to apply in our lives and know the purpose of this knowledge so uh, just give the topics or give the theorems or uh, give the definitions and ask the children to explore and get the news from that newspaper when it comes to social studies i think newspaper is the most effective tool that the teacher can have in her hands so you ask the children to bring the newspaper um, okay one one idea i'll just give suppose it is pertaining to geography you can ask the children to analyze uh, the map that is given there no about the weather forecast that happens and you would have read about the onset of monsoons so you can ask the children to find out like remember we told that in june the monsoon will uh, start making its mark in Kerala so you see in the newspaper so we are correlating that so the next one is about civics uh, wherein we read about the legislative uh, and the executive branches of the government so everyday newspaper contains a lot of information about what are the rules that the government has made and how all those things are being implemented so you could correlate that you could ask them to find out what those uh, news events are and of course what is newspaper without someone making uh, going down in the annals of history and making a mark so uh, you could uh, bring to the notice of the children how each of us can actually make a mark and go down in the history of our state or our country or the world. Yes. And of course, even for economics, you have the bull, uh, the stock market and other things which you can analyze for commerce and economics teachers. I'm just trying to correlate all subjects related to social studies. So uh, these are all the ideas uh, which come to my mind at this point of time when I think of social studies, commerce and economics. So go ahead my teachers, use the simple newspaper into an effective tool and bring into the minds of children a great impact and the importance of reading the newspaper and correlating it to what all they have studied. Stay tuned to find out one more bonus tip that I'm going to give. Actually, this video is about five tips to use newspaper in the effective way. But obviously, uh, what is the fun if you don't offer some bonus ideas? And here is the final tip for you. So uh, one time when every teacher finds it really difficult to manage her class or elicit the interest of students is when you have to do the revision. So that time to make your revision sessions very interesting, this is a tool that will come very effective in your hands. So the teacher all you have to do is make a newspaper rocket and throw it on one student and tell you are the one who is going to answer my first question. Then after that, after the student finishes answering, you give the paper rocket in the hands of that child and he has to choose the next uh, student who is going to answer the second question. So it will be loads of fun in the class because one child he will either make his friend or not so good friend get caught to answer the next question and this will be going on and you don't have to take the burden of uh, making the child feel that oh I, I'm the one who's targeted in every class it is the children who make the choice right so this will make your revision classes really very interesting and a fun way for kids to learn and remember all the facts so these were the wonderful tips that I shared with you go ahead my dear teachers execute them if you get new ideas please share it in the comments below and make uh, your classes very interesting very inspiring enjoyable and participative if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends, give in the comments below which tip you like and what is it that you are going to practice from this and finally if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing, you are going to get wonderful tons of good information in this channel. Stay tuned, stay fine, think out of the box, explore new ways. Thank you, Jai Sairam.